How are you guys doing today? I am really excited to come back to you guys and uh, go over another basic behavior that we can teach our dog. Now again, our focus, uh, a lot of our focus on these uh, recently are not working on sits and downs and stays, but just fun interactive things that you can do with your dog with items you have lying around the house. Now today we're going to use a skill that we call shaping. Um, an easy breakdown on shaping would be that I've got an end goal and I'm going to use small increments to build the dog to that end goal. Now. Uh, before we start that training process, like every other uh, training process, we want to make sure that we're prepared and we have our tools. Now, I always like to utilize a clicker, which I've got handy. So if you have a clicker, go ahead and pull that out. Always want to make sure that I have treats, I have something small and quick for the dog to chew up. Now, if I don't use a clicker, you can always use a word like yes to mark when the dog makes or does the correct behavior. I will give you a little demonstration of both as we go through the training process. Now my goal today, and the fun thing that I want to teach is uh, a cue that actually we can get as creative as we want with the name, but essentially teaching the dog to look inside of an item or stick their head into an item. Now you could use something as simple around your house as a cup where they'll stick their nose in. Uh, you could use a bucket, a uh, sand bucket, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, today I'm going to use, use a bucket. Now this is one of the first ones that I will tell you um, that I'm demonstrating that I've not actually previously taught Ellie. So we're really gonna build up through the process and we may not see the full finished process, um, but you'll see how, that, how we get to that because training does take a little bit of time. Now look, we're gonna go ahead and get our dogs up, but the shaping process, my first goal is to simply get Ellie to investigate this bucket. I don't mind if her head's in it, if it's out of it. Now my end goal, or my end criteria for this is that her head is fully submerged in the bucket to earn a click or a yes and treat. Now we're gonna go ahead and get Miss Ellie up. She'd be able uh, taking a little nap over here, Ellie. Come on. All right. Now, I may initially kind of move it around to kind of get her attention on it. She showed some interest, I will click and treat. And again, I'm going for that small amount of interest that she's showing in it, something new and novel. She's picking this up rather quickly. This is not common. I'm going to use the word yes now. Yes. 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 Now, something you can do if the dog's starting to crowd you a little too much is you can take that treat and send it away. So the dog walks away and then they should come back and reset back into the behavior. You know, she comes back and I got a full head in the bucket. I'm gonna bring her right back around here so you can get a better view. And she's given us a full behavior already. Now, Ellie is used to shaping, which is why she is picking this up a little bit quicker. Notice I waited for that behavior. Very good, Ellie. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set this aside here for just a moment because she's going to want to come back and work. Sit. Thank you. Now, we're going to start adding a cue to it. Now, I don't want you guys to add a cue too quickly, um, but once the dog is offering that full behavior like we just saw, then it's time for me to add a verbal cue. Now you can get as creative as you want, depending on whether you're using a cup or a bucket for that training session. I'm going to use the cue of look inside. Now make sure that your, your cues that you decide to use don't mix in with any other cues. Some people use the word look to gain their dog's attention. I don't use that, so I'm going to use the cue of look inside for the bucket behavior. Well, what, are, what we're going to do is that we're going to give the cue of look inside as she sticks her head in there and then click and treat. I'm going to send her away with a cookie, bring her back in, look inside. Look inside. Notice we give the cue, look inside and click. If you're using yes, you'll do the exact same thing. Look inside, yes. Look inside, yes. Look inside. Very good. And we're gonna go ahead and finish up that training session, but since the dog's having so much fun, I don't like to end abruptly. I'll either grab a favorite toy or I'm gonna grab about five or six treats and just toss them down for the dog to pick up and eat. Uh, during that training session or at the finish of it. That, my friends, is how we begin to start or teach our dogs to stick their head in a bucket 
or in a cup, and it's just a fun cue. As you start playing around with touch and these other things that we've gone over um, on the past week, you may be able to add these pieces into your training session and kind of mix them all up. I want to see your guys' uh, attempt at this. Make sure you share them on our Facebook. Make sure you follow us on uh, YouTube. And uh, look forward to uh, uh, shooting another video for you soon.